हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माय फोर्टी फिफ्थ बुक सिनोसिस क्वेश्चन फॉर यू लेट अस अज्यूम इट इज इलेवन ओ क्लॉक इन द मॉर्निंग यू हैव फिनिश्ड सम एक्टिविटी एंड देन यू विल बी स्टार्टिंग सम एक्टिविटी एंड यू हैव मे बी ए कपल ऑफ मिनिट्स अवेलेबल विथ यू देन यू सी वन नोटिफिकेशन ऑन युअर मोबाइल फोन यू जस्ट पुट युअर मुन डी डाउन स्क्रोल थ्रू व्हाट्सअप मेसेजेस लिंक्ड इन इंस्टा फेसबुक एटसेट्रा एंड इन टू मिनिट्स टाइम यू कम बैक एंड सी एंड वॉट यू सी इट इज नाइन थर्टी इट इज इलेवन थर्टी इन द मॉर्निंग देन यू कर्स युअर सेल्फ एंड देन यू पुट यूर पुट युअर सेल्फ रिसॉल्व दैट येस आई विल नॉट डू इट दिस वे अगेन टूडे एंड यू फिनिश युअर डे दैट वे नेक्स्ट डे कम बैक सेम स्टोरी हैपन्स सो एंड देन यू अगेन कर्स युअर सेल्फ एंड कैरी दैट गिल्ट सो डज इट मीन दैट वी शुड स्टॉप यूजिंग दीज डिवाइसेस और शुड वी कंट्रोल द टाइम और समथिंग एल्स टूडेज बुक इज एक्जैक्टली अबाउट दैट एंड इट इज वेरी रिलेवेंट टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे द नेम ऑफ द बुक इज आर्ट ऑफ बिटफुलनेस Keeping calm in the digital world. Written by two authors. First one is Aadhar Man of India and co-founder and current chairman of Infosys, Mr. Nandan Nilkani. Second one is Mr. Tanuj Bhojwani. He is an IITian and he claims that he is a storyteller who codes. Published by Penguin. in year 2022 fresh book i guess somewhere in jan or feb they would have published it so what does this book talk about before we go let us talk about the word bitfulness i found it interesting i believe there is no such word this word has been coined by these two gentlemen so let us see the definition of that i read one interview of tanuj bhojwani he has written uh, about this word bitfulness so what does he say he says bitfulness means listen very carefully bitfulness means being effortlessly mindful bitfulness means being effortlessly mindful about the time you spent on the devices it is a play on the words bit and mindfulness bit being both bits and bytes in the digital world but also doing just a little bit to make your life better that's how the word bitfulness has been defined and you will be able to understand why it is so so the book starts with defining the problems including we losing the time or sense of time while using the devices we getting obsessed with the devices and our relationship with the current technology it then goes deep and explains what is that we can do to resolve these issues one important thing authors very clearly say that they are nowhere telling you to go away from the technology naturally both are tech guides so they will never tell you to go away but how to survive is what they are trying to tell us <clears throat> so basically what they do is that they then have defined the bitfulness and the ways in which you can make use of it now they have and there are a lot of things which are talked about in this book i am going to give you only one example author say that you should divide your time into three parts one they called as create mode second communicate mode third is curate mode now what does that mean in create mode you do a very hard deep thinking where you do not need any kind of disturbance probably during that time you need to throw away all your devices in other rooms and concentrate only on the device in which you are working on probably the laptop or whatever or desktop whichever you are comfortable with second is communicate mode where you communicate to the world email whatsapp formal emails whichever way you want to communicate in this communicate mode they have introduced a concept of inbox zero where you should have your inbox cleared at the end of the day 
interesting concept we should read that and how do you divide those uh, emails into various four categories etc the last one is a curate mode so essentially wherever you are not in the first two modes it is a curate mode essentially it is like a leisure time for you authors also tell us how do you divide this 24 hours that you have with in compartments so he he somewhere i read in one interview of mr nandan nilakani that let us say that you go to gym you go to garden you go to uh, restaurant you go to bar you go to library the objective of going to each of these places is different and you do and you do that activity during that time similarly divide your 24 hours and do that similar way now various methods can be followed some people can use multiple devices some people can use multiple email ids to block your time for a particular activity and do only that activity during the time and there are many other things i don't want to it is already 6 uh, minutes that i have passed so i don't want to spend too much time and i will not be able to do the justice to this book because this is though it is only a 225 page book it is a very well researched book and therefore i would not be able to tell you everything and if i tell you everything you will not read the book the intent is you should read the book uh, is what i would like the people to do so it is so when i started I, or when i opened the book reopened the book for, for writing my book synopsis i observed that nearly 30 to 40% of the lines are underlined by me which means it is very impactful and very useful book from the point of view of uh, implementing things one of the important thing which i have observed and liked about this book is that it is not only gyan that they have given there is an appendix at the end of the book where the authors have told us how to do the things this is also equally important because otherwise there is no fun uh, in having theory but do not know how to use it two more things before i stop for myself when i uh, will have to implement things though yes some of the things i have implemented myself uh, in this book for example when there is something critical i keep my mobile phone in the other room and then concentrate and do my work but there are many things which i need to do and probably i will have to also read it one more time before i you know actually implement those things because it is not very easy this is not a light reading book i am not call it a self development book but it will basically give the uh, give us how to survive and how to enjoy the digital world one last part before i stop the age gap between two authors is of 31 years and still their constraints and concerns are same this is how the importance of the book is i stop here i will be posting this uh, video on my facebook page books from my eyes on my linkedin page as well as on my uh, youtube channel please do like and subscribe to get a regular feeds i generally post all my videos on first of every month thank you so much good day